Here's some safety tools that I recommend. A uh, half-faced respirator with acid vapor cartridges on. Funnel with a screen and disposable nitrile gloves. This table I'm working on is not plumb level square or anything, so this is going to run very randomly. But we're going to now take hopefully long streaks. Don't make them all the same width. Don't make them all the same strength. So we're going to start at the top and let it run down. If you notice when I come back to the first one I did, the liquid follows the same path. It, it almost always will, unless you put way too much on. But what we're trying to do is get that eight off in a, get that zinc and tin dissolved in kind of a stripe pattern. Swallow it down and keep working it until you get it. They don't all have to go to the bottom. I'm just trying to come up with a little different look for the video. Okay, that's pretty random. You can see that I just got some stripes going down. And again, these pieces, these areas here, um, are, are virgin clean steel. These areas here still have the galvanization on that you can see probably. the mosaic pattern of the zinc and the tin, which is put on um, with a pretty cool process. Okay, now we're gonna have, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit this whole thing with copper again. You need your water ready, because you do not want the copper to be in contact with the steel more than three to five seconds. The quicker, the better. And level is good. Doesn't matter if the steel is wet or dry. I prefer the steel to be a, a little wet when I put the copper on, and that's what we're gonna do right now. And you don't have to go over and over and over. You just have to make sure that the mist has hit the steel everywhere. 
capillary action from the water on the surface of the steel will take that copper where it needs to go. And then you've got this look here. Now, since I didn't bring out a thousand colors of uh, different you know, ideas, I just brought some basic stuff. I'm gonna take this blue FX again, and instead of making that, instead of making that uh, ripple look, I'm just gonna see what happens if I let it run down each one of these paths. Might be a total failure, but we're going to see what it does. You could do those one at a time and rinse them, but you don't have to. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got some cool reds, violets, and blues with a little bit of gold edges, and it came out pretty cool. And for what I have out here right now, that's about all we can do. But we, you get the idea that on galvanized, I don't know, I can see my reflection in there. Um, on galvanized, it's, it's, there's not a whole lot you can do with it with patinas until you get rid of some of that coating. And then it's uh, anybody's, anybody's game to come up with different ideas, different strategies. what you're going to use as far as patinas. Again, I did not concentrate on the sides, edges, I didn't even care. I wanted you to see the basic process of getting um, the zinc and tin off, the galvanization, putting some basic patina colors on, and then, just to show you again, rinse it really well, sides, top, everything gets a good rinse. And then dry it off. If you don't, if you don't force dry it with compressed air, all of these areas that you've colored are, are going to turn dark brown, a reddish dark brown, a, a, a dark red brown, or black, because it's going to flash rust and it's going to go to, it's going to not work. So here you got to get the thing dry. I want to show you um, what I would do, uh, what this would look like if it was clear coated. I always use automotive clear. Obviously it's not dry enough to shoot a clear on right now. Um, it still needs a little bit of time to get that dry. I would wipe it with the tack rag. Should have brought one with me and I didn't. I wipe it with the tack rag just to get any loose material off, which there'll be very, very, very little. And then this water you can see it now, that's bare, that's dry. This will give the appearance of a clear coat, a wet look clear coat. So you can see that the colors are intensified and shiny and the whole thing is actually quite nice. That's what it would look like with, uh, with a, a good quality clear coat. Just like that. <laughs>